in the middle of the 16th century, the nobility of many European countries imported powerful dogs with long legs from England, resulting from crosses between English Mastiffs and Irish Wolfhounds. These were canine hybrids of various sizes and phenotypes with no formal breed. These dogs were called in Germany English Dock or English Talk later written and spelled. Doggy or Englisher Hund. The name meant English dog. Since then, the English word dog has been associated with a molluscoid dog in Germany and France. German nobility has bred these dogs independently since the early 17th century. When hunting boar or bear, the Great Dane was a captured dog, used after other hunting dogs to grab the bear or boar and hold it in place until the hunter could kill it. However, as hunting habits have changed, especially with guns, many types of dogs have disappeared. As a result, the Great Dane became rare and was only kept as a hobby or luxury dog. I in Austria and Germany, the Molossian dog, the Suliat dog, and other imports from Greece were used in the 18th century to bolster the reputation of so dogs. I in 1878, a committee was formed in Berlin, which changed the name from English Dodge, English Mastiff, to Deutsch Doggy, German Dodge. It was the Great Dane. This laid the foundation for the development of the breed. In the 19th century, the dog was known as the German Boarhound in English-speaking countries. Some German breeders attempted to introduce the names German Dodge and German Mastiff to the English market as they felt the breed should be marketed as a luxury rather than a working dog. However, due to growing tensions between Germany and other countries, the dog was nicknamed the Deutsch Doggy, after the Great Dane and Buffon 1755 Natural History, General and Particular. The Great Dane is a large Mastiff type domestic dog, known for its large size. He is often called the Apollo of Dogs. In its majestic appearance, the Great Dane combines strength and elegance with a large size and a strong, shapely, and muscular body. It is one of the giant working breeds, but it is unique in that its general build must be well balanced, so that it never looks clumsy and must move with enormous reach and powerful drive. The Great Dane is a short haired breed with a sturdy, galloping build. I in terms of length to height, the Great Dane should be square. The male should not fall below a shoulder height of 76 cm or 71 cm. Danes below the minimum size will be disqualified. The giant living dog is usually a Great Dane from year to year. Previous record holders are Gibson, Titan, and George, however, the current record holder is a black Great Dane named Zeus, who stood 44.0 inches, 111.8 centimeters, at the shoulder before his death in September 2014. He was also the tallest recorded dog, according to Guinness World Records, beating the previous one. The owner, the George above, stood 109.2 cm, 43.0 in, at the shoulder. The minimum weight for a Great Dane over 18 months old is 54 kg, 120 pounds, for males, and 45 kg, 100 pounds, for females. The American Kennel Club has removed minimum weight requirements from its standard. As a result, the male should consistently appear more massive than the female, with a broader frame and heavier bones. Great Danes naturally have floppy, triangular ears. When Great Danes were often used for hunting wild boar, the ears were cropped so that the dog's ears were less likely to be injured while hunting. Now that Danes are primarily pets, cropping is sometimes practiced for traditional and cosmetic reasons. In the 1930s, when Great Danes cropped their ears, two devices called Easter bonnets were attached to their ears after surgery to help them stand upright. Today the practice is expected in the United States, but much less common in Europe. In some European countries, such as the UK, Ireland, Denmark and Germany, as well as parts of Australia and New Zealand, the practice is banned or controlled for use only by veterinarians.